Hello, my friends. I'm Obsidian Man, and you'll be probably pleased to know that, yes, it, it saving does work. I mean, look at this. We're in the ship that I built last time, and it's still really bright. But who cares? It's bright. You know, let, let, it, let it have that. So, um, yeah, I decided today that since we can save it, and we can build ships, and we know how to power them, and, you know, flying, we're, we're getting there on flying. I mean, you know, there is a little bit hard to control if you've ever played this. You know, there's like that big circle in the middle around the reticle, the targeting reticle, you know, that, like, you can't aim into, which is a little bit annoying, but, you know, blinding light. Why do I look at the floor when I do that? I'm pretty, yeah, it's less br bright if I look at the ceiling. See? Um, actually, you know what, first off, let's just change the design of this ship and then, like, rebuild it so that it's not blinding. Take the hydrogen out because we know that won't save if we build a new ship. And quickly, before this runs out of power, beam across. Hopefully it doesn't crash. It seems like the game's also getting better about crashing when you teleport. Because I think since the update, has it crashed? I think it crashed once when I was recording. Because I know when, when I'm not recording, it's never crashed. But sometimes when I am recording, it does crash. So I don't know about that. And it's only when I use the teleporter too. So, I mean like, if you're just playing the game by yourself, like, you're interested in it, don't worry about like it crashing when you teleport, it's just when I'm recording that it cra does. I know you can't really take my word for it because I can't like show you that it's not crashing when I'm recording unless I'm recording to show you. But still, you know, you get the gist. So yeah, that's pretty bright. Let's tone down the lighting a little bit, guys. I don't know why I said that like that. I accidentally removed a floorboard. Lights. Let's stick some of these lights in. These. Yeah, we have windows there, so let's just stick some in here and here. As well as here and here. That looks good. Why did the floor not get put back? Come on, man. Get your stuff together, floor. That looks better, in my opinion. Looks a lot better. Make sure these other rooms look fine. They look fine. They've always looked fine. Got some fine rooms there, eh? Alright. Now all we have to do is, we should be able to, um, click the upgrade button and change the ship. This one. Let's revert it to savable ship. Yeah, we can do it, build. And that should just like rebuild the ship so that it doesn't have those massive blinding lights. That's how upgrading works, by the way, if I haven't explained that yet. Basically, you choose a ship that's out in space somewhere, and then you choose a blueprint to build that ship out of. So then it takes the blueprint that you chose, and then it take it changes the entire ship to match that blueprint. So like what I just did, it should have changed the lights so that it works. And since since it does that, I kind of guessed this would happen. But I, I also proved it that um, the hydrogen and stuff on like on the cargo pads would get deleted. So you have to take your cargo pads out before you do that. Hopefully it doesn't crash, otherwise, you know, I'll be lying. It didn't crash again. Wow, this is turning up great. And we got power. Good. All right. Doors are powered. Ah, it's not too bad, except for like here. My eyes hurt if I look at that, but that's fine, right? It's nice to have a little bit of brightness in your room. So, um, yeah, we're gonna build like a fleet of ships. Maybe this ship, maybe not. I don't know yet. I just thought it would be a cool idea to like try to build a whole fleet of ships. We could build another one of these. Let's build. Actually, when I was um, not recording, I built another ship. You might have seen it that I called Think. Mm. I can't remember. I think it was light transport or something like that. Light private vessel, something along those lines. And um, I think I'll build that one. Because I, I like that ship. It's a nice ship. It's not too bulky. Unlike some of my ships, which I've designed. If you are actually paying attention to what I have on the list of things that I build, like, you know, the, in the build menu, I'll show you. If you look up here, you'll notice that if I go to build, you know, where I last left off, I had just saveable ship. Now I have light private vessel, which is the one I'm talking about. 
And I also have the self-sustaining vessel, which is what I'm currently working on right now. So we're not going to build that one yet, because I'm actually going to like take the time to design the exterior of that one. Because it's a pretty big ship compared to what I've built so far. I think we will eventually build that one. That sounds like a good idea. I'm rambling. Anyway, back to mining. I might do the cutting out thingy I did in the last one. I really like how- oh, ice asteroid. I really like how the the transition kind of thing turned out when I did the um, the mining sequence in the last episode. I like how it turned out. Running back and forth to mine. So since it does save, before I was using the um, box in there to put them in, but I think now since technically you can build ships based on the materials you have either in that crate or on these cargo pads on the ship, so like if, if the resources are on a pad on the ship, it'll use them in the ship construction. That was a long explanation, but anyway now that it's saving I'll start putting them on here, So that's because that's more like what we're going to have to do once we're like on our own ships and not on this station. Oh yeah, I ran through the door. That's about it. Let's build it. Is that it out there? Oh no, that's the other ship. And look where I parked. It's sideways. That's funny. Okay. I think that's the other ship anyway. Uh. Yeah, that's the other one. Yeah, I think the new one I built has a bigger cockpit. Maybe. Yeah, it does. It has the one that I was saying. No, it's not that one. It's a different one. Anyway. Light private vessel. Room Zero Cargo Pad. Engage the transportation device. Good job. I wish I could just transport myself over there. Using the transporter cargo pad thing. Hydrogen, zero. <gasps> Guess what we need to do? Mine some hydrogen. Water. Let's do that. Should be quick. 
Doesn't take too long. Except for the part where it takes a while. So yeah, look, you can see that after I built the ship, all this cargo has been vanished. So it looks like the way it works is it takes from what whatever the last thing... Wait, no, the first thing you put on, all the way up to however much it needs. I wonder if it draws from the, like, storage bin in here first. No, it must not, because that... If it did, then all that would be zero, wouldn't it? Right? So... There you go. Just so you know, if you put it on the cargo pads in the ship, that makes it priority over the vault thing that you have in there for building ships. Time to make some hydrogen. Hydrogen is something hard to say. Yep, see my grammar's right there? That proves it. Like, try saying hydrogen five times fast. Like hydrogen, 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 like what the heck, you know? And then once you start talking about like dihydrogen monoxide, then you know, it's, it's crazy. Can't wait to get some hydrogen to power up my spaceship. I wonder if we can steal hydrogen from the re Oh, okay then. That's new. From the reactors and Whoa, this is new. I haven't been here in a while. They have like these respawning bays, I think that's, that's what those are. Huh, that's cool. I've never like, been down here recently, it's really dark though. Isn't this used to be a button you can press to bring the elevator up? Preposterous. Or maybe, maybe I'm just on the wrong side, maybe this side has always been like this. And it's the other side that I'm thinking of. Because there must be a reactor on here, right? I mean, sure, it can be solar powered. Yeah, it's down here. This is where the reactor is. Yeah, look, spinning fan blades. This is where the reactor is, right? Yeah. This is what I was thinking. This room is what I was thinking of. That's one of the reactors. Where's the tanks? This is the tank, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, wow. There's a lot of hydrogen in these tanks. Oh, but. Oh, it's limited, though. So do you actually have to, like, refill it eventually? On the station? Huh. Never thought of that before. Is there anything back here? No? You should at least light it up, you know. Ooh, I wonder if our hydrogen is done speaking of it. Hydrogen generator. There it is. Oh, that's all. Okay, I thought there was one more, but I guess that's all. Sounds good. Okay. Prepare for transport. There's two hyd there's three hydrogen tanks and three generators on this ship. It's super fancy. There we go. Now we should just be able to transport ourselves over there. Mm, but there's that risk of it crashing again, isn't there? I mean technically there is, right? Technically. Well I say let's just hope that those other two non crashable non crashing transports for, through empty space was not a fluke and that it's actually fixed. If it's not, then I probably will just restart the game and continue where I left off. Assuming it saves because it might not have saved. Pretty sure it would have at least saved the ship existing. If, if not, like, the hydrogen being on it. I'm trying to find this ship to see if I can see it. It does not look like I can. Mm, nope, don't see it. Okay. Let's see. Don't crash on me. Wow, okay. Just so you know, I made this room bright intentionally. Because, you know, everybody knows transporters are really bright, right? Stare at it. I just love these doors. They're so great. You, you, just, you guys don't understand. It's a thing. These doors are great. So, yeah, welcome to my new ship that I built a little bit ago. Oh, I guess the station does have like a thousand solar panels over there, so it's not a big deal if it runs out of power. Uh, hydrogen. Hydro hydrogen. So on this side, we have what's known as the place where we have like hydrogen and stuff. Yay. You know, we got three generators, three tanks, but only one of them has anything in it. Uh, back here in the back of the ship, we have this elevator, which will bring us up to... for it. 
second level. Second level, which has this, which I, if you noticed, I teleported some iron ore to because I did not want to put the iron ore through the thing. But you know what? Since we also have on the second floor a cargo teleporter, I think I'll just go ahead and teleport this right back. Actually, no, hold on. Let's teleport to the safe. Oh, it doesn't have any cargo pads. That's a shame. Okay. Refinery room one. Cargo pad. No, let's put it on this cargo pad. Yeah, that's an easy one to get to. Just teleport it right across space. I just love cargo teleporters. They're so great. And then I also put one of these on just in case you want to, like, design a ship. I mean, I don't know if you could really build a ship on this station because this is the only cargo space it has. And that, I guess, technically, but, you know, it's not very much space. Do to do, going back down the elevator. Okay. I wish those elevators weren't so like jumpy and shaky, but yeah, you know, I guess it's you know alpha. And on this room, which is the last room on the ship, is like this you know board meeting room or something like that. So you can be like, oh yeah, man, I'm a captain, and we're gonna talk about money and that plant, you know, whatever it is you talk about on your ship, you know, like you know your checkered floors. And then you got here, and up here is the bridge. And I'm going to use my oh-so-amazing flying skills to bring it this ship over next to the other ship so we can have, like, our fleet starting. This is going to be an ongoing thing now. We're going to build a fleet of different ships. Well, I can't wait for them to, like, add the ability to color the outside of your ship. Because right now you can, like, color different interior things, but you can't actually color the outside of your ship yet. What's the down button? Control C, no. It's not control C either. Oh, there's a ship. I was wondering where it was because it blends in with the station, you know? Let's just go like forward a little bit. And then we'll go down. And then we'll go down a little bit more. And then we'll cut the engine right here. Okay, that didn't work. Let's back up a little bit. Back. Reverse mode. Reverse. Reverse. No, wrong way. Go back down. I'm gonna reverse down. So that we can end up going forward. Oh, here we go. Here we go, guys. Parking skills. Ready? Parking in space. Even though there's no really a legitimate reason to be trying to park your ships next to each other. Don't want to park too close, right? That might result in funny looking clipping through things. Alright, let's stop the ship there and hop out. Hopefully we didn't clip through the other ship. You can always like look in here. Or maybe not. It's not going that one. That one's bright. A little bit too bright. Not quite too bright. A little bit too bright though. Yeah, it looks like we're not passing through the other ship. We're not phasing through it. That's a good thing. I didn't put like any windows in this ship at all. This is the um introvert ship. I guess. It's a private vessel, guys. The name's introvert. Save little ship. Room two. Uh, not that window. It would be this window, wouldn't it? Yeah, look, see? There's the other ship. There's my parking job right there. You can't really see it. Let's go to this window. Yeah, this is a better window. Yeah, there's the cockpit. Well, I guess I could have pulled forward a little bit more. And here's the slightly too bright. Oh, this is actually a nice view. You got on one side you got your ship, which you can barely see through the window. On the other side you got your station, and then up here you got your cockpit. You know, this game is just amazing. Can't wait for it to like have more stuff. I think we're parked sideways relative to the thing. Yeah, we are, aren't we? Oh well. So yeah, that's the beginning of our fleet. Uh, if you like this video, like it. If you want to see this fleet continue, and or me playing other games, you know, like, I'll probably do Space Engineers, other indie games if I can find them too, then subscribe, and um, I will see you in the next video. See you later.